Hello everybody, my name is Chad Barker. Today I'm going to show you how to do some uh, different layouts. This uh, A customer had emailed me this picture, and it's basically, he wants to figure out how to do some of these, uh, uh, this wall uh, shape, I guess, on cabinet vision. I'm going to show you how to do all that. It's pretty simple. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start at this end, and I'm going to draw it just like he has pictured right here. Okay, pretty simple. Uh, so let's get started. We're going to start over here. So it's 24 to 38, and there's obviously with architectural uh, plans, they usually stick to 40 to 45 degree angles. Uh, so we're just going to assume that's a 45 degree angle. It looks like it is from this picture, uh, especially since it's got graph paper there. Now you don't have to use cabinet vision, but uh, most of our customers do. So we are going to uh, stick with it. Okay, so what we're doing here is, I drew the first wall right here. We can adjust the, the length of that later. Um, most likely your, your cabinet vision program will snap to a point. Okay, now I can't, if I, if I move it over here, I'm sorry, on the left side of the screen where it says chained line, uh, I'm sorry, right, right up here, watch that, and it'll show you the angle, and obviously 135 degrees is what you want, so it snaps, mine actually snaps to a lot tighter points than most people's does, but uh, right there is what you want, so that's 135 degrees, basically it makes a 45 degree angle from here to here, okay, uh, I believe it went this way, if I remember correctly, without looking at it, and another 45 Alright, so now if it doesn't snap to the right angle, like it's not, oh, there, it went right there. But let's just say it doesn't. Use your tab button, okay? So on your keyboard, push the tab button, and notice how it highlights. We'll keep pushing tab, and it'll actually go through all these things. Now, you can basically choose here angle 135. So I just typed it in on my keypad, and then tab again, and it'll lock that angle, okay? So you just click that. Oh, it didn't do it, sorry. 135, and then push enter. That'll hold. That, that piece there. Now we can go back and adjust these lengths here in a minute. Right now what we want to do is just get the shape of our wall. So here, negative 135 is what I'm typing in. I'm using my tab button and I'm clicking enter. Okay, Enter locks in that, that wall. So ideally we just wanted a little shape here. Okay, here, yeah, this is really weird. It's not snapping to these points, but anyway. Um, so again, tab over 180 degrees. Obviously, it's flat. You know, we're not going to see any issues there. I believe it came back up at a 90 degree angle up to there. Okay, let's go check our picture real quick. So we go down over, yeah, it looks good. Okay, so let's type in his uh, dimensions here. So we got 24, 38, 72, 38. I'm just going to do this real quick. I got to back out of this, uh, this one. Going over here to length, I'm highlighting it right there. 24, 38. 72, 38, 59, it looks like. Seventy-two. I'm just clicking on the wall and I'm clicking length. Eight. I think he's, I think I said this was fifty-nine. I could be wrong. It really doesn't matter, I guess. We got there. Over here we got one hundred and sixteen and then ninety-two. That angle's off just a little bit, looks like. There we go. So you can adjust the angles on these things too. I, I, I highly recommend actually putting them in where they have the correct angle, uh, you know, already when you have this thing set up. And the reason for that is if you let's say I want to adjust this, and it's at one negative one thirty-five right now, where I highlighted right here. If you can see that. Uh, let's just say I take that to ninety. Well, it's going to switch the whole piece, so it kind of screws it up a little bit, and it also disconnects it. So in this in this case, you're going to want to undo it by pushing this button right here, where it says undo, and it should take it back, right back, and join it up there. Uh, or Control Z. I like using the keyboard a lot better than I like using uh, their product here. So anyway, that's pretty much the wall layout we'd want. Now um, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial, but it looks like this customer is going to be putting some cabinets on here. And then we're going to work around. Now, angles create a bit of an issue because you're going to have to use, as he already has mentioned here, he's got some uh, some dead space here and dead space here. So angles really do minimize the usable space of your kitchen. So I'd highly recommend sticking with 90 degree angles because cabinets are pretty much designed better for that. Uh, obviously, we're not going to make a cabinet that's got a weird angle going back into the corner. It still isn't very well usable. Uh, not to say it's impossible to do, but you're not really gaining anything out of it. So Hopefully, when your contractors are laying these walls out, uh, they can put them uh, put them in at more 90 degree angles. But in this case, it's fine. So anyway, that's how you do the wall program. If you have any questions, feel free to email us. Um, we're always available. Thanks again. Have a great day.